little freak here. Coming at you from the shed again. Uh, I was going to finish up my uh, rim pack video. I got me a new tire here. So I'm going to put that on real quick. Just a quick rundown. My last video was I got a set of rim pack inserts. Nice little insert, nicely made. Uh, dense foam, very light, ain't too heavy. And that's what I'm gonna put in my tires because I had that, that that flat during my race. I had a flat, so check out the last video. I explained everything, it's pretty long. Sorry it's so long, but it was. Hopefully, this will be a little bit quicker because I'm just going to put my tire on the rim, put that in there. I'm gonna get my sealant in and uh, air it up, and it'll be ready to go. The tire I got is a massive Maxis. My tire is a Maxis. That's a guy who won the it's been out about a year, and right now it's like one of the hottest tires out there. So, this will be going on the front. I'm gonna try it out. So, 27.5, 2.5. Uh, I usually run a 2.6 on the front, but I'm gonna go with a 2.5 this time. So, let's get a good one. Make sure you put it on the right way because it's got a directional arrow on there somewhere. Let's see if I can find this one. I don't know. Yep, there it is. So my rotation we go on that way. Make sure my orientation is right on my wheel. So that's right. I already got my bow put in. Little that come with the uh, rim pack. That's pretty nice. It's a special bow because when the rim pack sitting on the bow, it's kind of hard to get air. And stuff in there so, so it's a special little valve it's, see if I, don't, I don't focus on my face in here but uh anyway it's got little holes in there on the sides instead of the very top that way it allows your fluid or your air to go through there if you're putting uh your sealant into the valve so i got my valve in there now I'll put my tire on I got it facing the right way, and I do. I'm gonna line my maxes up with the valve, the maxes logo. That's what everybody does. So, let's see if I can get this in there. All right, I got a tire on there. Now to put the uh, rim pack inside. Pretty straightforward. You just set it in here. Try to get it seated on your wheel. Okay, this went so much easier last time. I don't know because it's a new tire or what, but yeah, it went a whole lot easier last time. Well, initially. Well, not initially, but it went a little bit easier. This right here seems to be a little bit of a pain right now. It went, I, I say this, it went smoother last time. So I gotta try to get my tire. Uh, gotta try to get my tire on the bead. All right, I think I got it in there now. Now, I gotta get my get the other bead on. Yeah, gotta get the other bead on. All right, almost there. Almost there. I was contemplating leaving it open to put the, my sealant in because I can't find a tube for uh, my sealant bottle to use on the valve. But I think after as hard as this has been, I'm going to get this on and find me a tube. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm going to take a little break. Alright, I found me a tube for my sealant. Got some orange sealer right here. found me a tube. It's a little bit bigger than I needed to be, so I had to put a little bit of tape around the uh, file there to seal it up. So I got my tire aired up, got the insert in there and everything. Everything looks good. But... I couldn't find a tool to take my valve stem core out. 
I used to have one, I thought, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, I was looking around. I didn't want to use a wrench or a pair of pliers or anything. That, that, would, that would mess your threads up on the thing. So I found, found this little tool right here. It's a spoke wrench. You know, it's got different sizes on it. And uh, this thing works pretty good. Fix and let the air out and take this thing out. But yeah, this little, this little uh, spoke tool works pretty good. So if you have one of those laying around and you don't have a valve tool, that works pretty good. Alright, got my valve out. Let's stick some sealant in there. We'll stick it on there upside down for the moment. Got it on there. Or do I need to give me a table? It's a little hard to do. Well, I'm gonna squeeze. This is an eight ounce bottle, so I'm gonna squeeze about try to get four in there. I kind I need to get another bottle because I want to use a little bit more than recommended because of the insert. I don't know if I insert to soak it up or not. mess there but I believe I got about four ounces in there get my foul core back in there grab my towel grab my towel there leaking out everywhere See, if I would have done it if I would have done it the other way and left the tire open it would have been a really big mess. Let's see. Look at this. Clean dog, we got my bowel back together. Got some air in it. I'm swishing around kind of. Get all that sealant in there good. And this baby's ready to go on the bike. So if you're interested in getting a uh, some rim protection. Check out Rim Pack. It's very affordable. I was surprised by how cheap it is and how well made it is. Very well made. And I will be testing this next month. It's a long ways to go, but I'm gonna be riding it, riding my bike clean here now. But my race, I'm doing. I'm doing a race in Arkansas. It's pretty rocky, so that'd be a good test for it. And uh, and I will do an updated video when I get some miles on this thing. So, uh, thanks for watching. And if you don't, if you're not subscribed, like and subscribe. And check out my Teespring store. I have a link in the bottom in the description to uh, grab a shirt. I got a couple different designs, shirts, pretty cool. So check that out for me and uh, get a shirt. Or not, you don't have to. But uh, thanks for watching and just ride, man.